Welcome. I hope that you are doing well. By the end of this video, you will be able to use the union, negate, and separate tools in Roblox Studio. Now, these tools are very helpful when you are creating models and for when you would like to create something like a window or a door for a player to see through or to walk through. Let's get started. So you want to have Roblox Studio open. And let's go ahead and create a part. I'm just going to add a block here. And I'm going to scale it so that we can uh, make uh, show you how to uh, use the union tool. Now, let's say I would like to carve out a part of this so that uh, the player could maybe jump up uh, with a step up to the top of this block. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another part, and I'll add another block, and I'm going to go ahead and scale it to what I would like. And so I've got a block there. And so now I'm going to go to, to find the union uh, tools, uh, we're going to go to model, and then you can see they've got union, negate, and separate. So right now I've got one um, block selected. Now, in order to, uh, now if I have that block selected, I could go ahead and click negate. And what that does is it makes it negative space. So basically, if I were to move this, whatever I move this over will become uh, clear, basically. So, and uh, let me show you. So if I go back to move, I'm going to move this down through that and make sure that you have collisions turned off on both parts. So I've got collisions turned off. And uh, so I've, mo I've moved that down. I'm going to move down a little bit more. And you can see there's a time where you can get it flush, and that's fine. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and keep it a little higher there. And then once I've got it to the place where I'd like to cut out, I'm going to select both parts. So I've got both of them selected now, the main part and the negative part. I'm going to go back to model, and I'm going to click union. And that's going to join these two parts together to make a model. So now you can see that, that the negative part was, um, you know, is now invisible. Uh, when I play this. Now, I'm going to go ahead and play this. Um, it's always a good idea to play that play this before you, uh, you know, keep building, um, just to make sure that it's going correctly the way you would like it. So I'm going to go ahead and move over here. Uh, let's go ahead and see. I would like to be able to jump on this. Okay, got it worked. Yeah, so I was able to jump up. And so now that worked. Now, uh, one thing you want to keep in mind when you're building these is make sure that whenever you have them selected, uh, go over down to properties and make sure that they're anchored. So you want to make sure I'm going to click this. So now that it's anchored, uh, the model will not fall apart on you uh, when you're cre when you're creating it. And you want to make sure you do that so that uh, you know if you're creating a pretty complex uh, model, then um, you know having it anchored in one spot will be very helpful so you can move the whole uh, model around. Okay, so now that I've got that together, let's say I wanted to change it. Okay, so now it's joined. I, if I select it, it just moves around. I can't really do it. If I if I try to move it, I'm moving the whole the whole thing. What I want to do is I want to be able to maybe change uh, that step. Okay, so now and I'm going to go ahead and click separate. And that is going to create the parts by themselves again. So it's basically going to what is that separate them into two parts again. So now I can select each one by itself and move each one around again. So those are the main ways to use union, negate, and separate. And now you can get pretty complex with using them. Uh, you can use them for making angles uh, on blocks. You can use any of the parts here. It works with all of the parts here, so block, sphere, wedge, and cylinder. And again, you wanna, the main things that uh, you wanna keep an eye out for is collisions and then anchor whenever you have the part um, you know, uh, unioned. These are very useful tools for when you're making your models. So sometimes uh, the model uh, can, uh, you know, have a glitch and where it might be, get a little uh, get corrupted. And in that case, you might have to rebuild from the beginning. It can be very frustrating, especially if you're, if you're working on a, a large model. Uh, but just keep that in mind as you're creating your model. If anyone knows uh, other ways to fix those glitches uh, whenever you have a model that's not um, working the way you want it to, um, go ahead and write that in the comments and that way everyone can benefit from that. You can also use union to combine two parts to create a model, two or more parts. So let's say I wanted to create something that looked like a, that had a circle and a square. So I'm going to go ahead and add the block and scale it. And then let's go ahead and add a circle or a sphere. And now I've got these two. And let's say I'd like to join them into one part that just looks maybe like a pillar or something. So now what I'm going to do is select both parts. 
And once they're both selected, you can either select them in the workspace uh, or the Explorer or just uh, highlight both. Or you can do uh, select one and then press control and then select the other one. That will select both. And then you're going to you can click union and that model can be moved around and scaled. And so that that's one thing you can do with the union is it's basically you're creating a model. And what that means is you've you've combined both parts into one part and now they act as one whenever you're you know moving it or scaling it. That's one thing to keep in mind when you're using the union tool. It's going to be very useful in building uh, very complex models. You now know how to use union, negate, and separate in Roblox Studio. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Roblox Studio tutorials available. I put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.